I reckon I'd made about a dozen casts by this stage and I made another cast and it was just perfect. It's landed inches from its head and that big heavy crab pattern has just dropped straight down in front of it. I mean, it just couldn't miss this crab pattern. I remember letting it get to the bottom and the tide was coming in at the time so I could, to keep a, a natural drift on the fly and still maintain contact, I could still use quite a, quite a fast sort of retrieve because that tide was really rushing in. So I'm doing that retrieve and I remember this fly dropping down and watching that fish and it just seemed to change. It's as if it just realised that crab had come into its world. Oh, oh. And then you see what every fisherman wants to see with any fish and it's that fish tilting forward and then it just rocked from side to side and you just knew that that fish had picked up the fly at that moment. Yes. Clear it, clear it, clear it, clear it, clear it. Woo! Oh, let him run. I just kept stripping and sure enough there was just that slight bit of weight there. So I set the hook as hard as I could and I couldn't believe it, it all came tight. It was just the most amazing moment. That's the way you do it. <laughs> That's how you do it on the MTV, Dave. Oh, I gotta love that, mate. I'm so excited I could just about cry at the moment. Oh, we nice have been fish. working so hard for a permit. Seems like we've been working for days, but actually I've been working most of my life to catch a permit on the fly. I caught one a few years ago in the US, but never in Australia. And uh, we've just hooked one. 